Good morning and happy Friday to you. My name is Latrina. Earlier this week, you spoke to my son, Chris, who offered to send you a free video showing some things you can do to improve your online presence, get more leads, customers, and sales. This is the free video that we've made for you. We hope that you enjoy it. There is no selling in the video. We believe givers gain. We are a small business ourselves, so we reach out to other businesses and share with them some things they can do to bring value and service. Um, we hope that it's helpful to you. Please lead, let us know at the end. If it's not too ridiculous to ask, please give us feedback because the feedback helps us to make our videos even better. So what I'm going to cover um, is content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements for you to have. I'll take a look at your company's online presence and make recommendations for improvement that I might see. So content is anything that happens to be on your website. It's those words, it's the images and the videos. You want to have enough content because this is how Google decides what it is you do. They crawl your website, they grab the keywords, they grab information about your business so that they can put you, include you in search results when people are looking for painting contractors, okay? Ideally, you need at least 1,500 words on your homepage and at least 500 on your back pages. This is going to help you to rank well against your competition. Citations are the listings that you get in directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, or Google. It's your business name, your address, and your phone number. There's a sample on the screen there for you. You want to have as many of these as you can get and even more than your competition. Again, it's all about ranking. It helps you to outrank your competitors. And then finally, backlinks. Backlinks are the placement of your website address onto other websites. So if you think about like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Yelp, any of these, these are backlinks that are redirecting traffic away from those sites to your website. The more backlinks you have, in fact, the more popular your website actually becomes on the internet. In fact, to Google, the more backlinks a business has, the more trustworthy Google um, thinks they are, the more validation it is for Google that they can trust your business, that you're a legitimate business, okay? So you want to get as many backlinks as you can potentially get. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. So being a painting contractor, you just want to make sure that for A-class painting, that your, that your backlinks are related to painting, like home improvement, construction, contractors, anything like that, right? You would not place your backlinks onto like Pizza Hut or auto body detailing, okay? You want to make sure they're relevant. So when I search for your your website i couldn't find one so i'm assuming you don't have one so my number one recommendation to you is to get a website you are missing out on a lot of opportunity okay definitely get a website so that you can boost your business your website works for you 24 7 okay it's bringing people to you even when you're asleep even when you're out in the field painting houses your website is going to be one of your hardest workers so definitely get a website built then the other thing is you want to optimize your Google profile right now. You'll definitely do that by adding a website, but you also want to make sure it's professional, make sure it's capitalized properly, add some more photos, um, get a description, better description about your business, where you service, get more Google reviews, and these are going to help you to boost your business and outrank. Now let me show you why it's important these things that I'm sharing with you. So right now when I do a search for painting contractors in Big Bear, what I find of course are the ads. The ads show up at the top. These are things that you can expect in Google. They're going to show up at the top or the bottom of the page. Some people will see these ads, some people will not because people have ad blockers on their computers sometimes. The other thing is that you'll see ads like from Thumbtack, sometimes Home Advisor, Angie's List. The thing to note about those in case you use the services, you get a lead from them that you pay for, but they share that same lead with four other companies. So all four, I'm sorry, all five of you or companies are paying for that one lead. Only one of you will get the lead, but you're all paying the same price. So I like to show businesses things that you can do naturally or organically to improve your online presence, okay? One thing to do is to try to get your website listed on the first page of Google, or at least the first three pages. The best place to have your business listed is this area that I'm circling right now called the map pack. 
And this is where Google places who they perceive to be the top ranking businesses for the keyword search. So in this case, painting contractors for Big Bear, these are the top three businesses. However, I'm gonna point something out to you that is very important for you to notice. This company here does not have a website. They are not optimized for Google. This is considered low hanging fruit, meaning it would be pretty easy for you over time to bump them out of their place so that you can take this place. And the reason I suggest you make that effort, get your website, get some content backlinks and citations is because this area here gets the highest volume of traffic on Google. So if you have your website there, you would be doing exceptionally well, okay? As I mentioned, Google continues to rank businesses on the pages. You wanna be listed on the first three pages if possible. As you move further away from those pages, visibility um, gets lower. People are not going to these pages. They're less popular, okay? More decisions and clicking takes place on the first three pages of Google and ideally, you want to be here. This is where a, a great proportion of traffic takes place, 30 to 40 percent. OK, now we go over to your data right now. Actually, I could not pull up data for your website, so I pulled it up for Kenny's painting just to give you an example. OK, now, even though Kenny, Kenny's painting is listed in the map pack, just like this one, they're not doing so great either. And I'm gonna show you how I know. I'm looking at their data. On a scale of one to 100, there are nine as far as popularity, but you can outrank them in your area because they have very few backlinks. If you get your website at backlinks, um, at referring domains, citations, get your keywords, you can totally outrank them. Right now, they get zero traffic zero 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 from google okay and that's because they haven't taken the time to optimize their website they only have three keywords that they're ranking for bear painting company i don't even know what that means it's not the name of their company big bear paint maybe 50 people search that cochlin paint big bear i don't know why they are ranking for that these are not keywords that people type naturally. So let me give you some examples. People would type painting contractors, Big Bear, California, interior home painting, Big Bear, California, exterior home painting, Big Bear, California, painting companies, Big Bear, California. Those would be the type of keywords that you want because that's what people naturally type into Google. And when you match up with the keywords, then automatically Google puts you at the top of the list when people are searching for those terms, okay? So I hope this has been helpful. Please let me know you watched it. Let me know if you have any feedback for me um, or questions. I'll be happy to clarify anything also that I've gone through. Otherwise, I wish you much continued success for your business. Have a lovely day and rest of your weekend. And that's it. I hope this video has been valuable to you. Please let me know, okay? Thank you for your time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.